Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Yale number 1827. This is a thumb turn only for their 350 series mortise deadlocks, is what it is. This is the uh, replacement thumb turn only, and this client who's purchased this thumb turn uh, actually has an installed... Um, Yale's discontinued 315, 314 series material, the discontinued mortise, small case mortise body, um, 314, 313, 315, and this is one of those long discontinued mortise cases here, and this client and I, well, this client was extremely confident that they could do whatever it took to make the 1827 work on this old installation, on this old, older installed small case mortise bolt. Um, taking that moxie and that uh, intent and that drive to make it work, I said, well, you know, I hope that it indeed will work. Um, and I've received the unit prior to shipping it to the client, and I can confirm that it does. It not only obviously works to throw the unit very well. But what's nice is the hole that is in the escutcheon and the included screw match perfectly. I would say that it's very possible, with the exception of what the tailpiece may have changed a bit, um, I'm very tempted to say that other than the shape of the tailpiece, and I don't have an old thumb turn to test, um, that it works, that it will work perfectly, even though there's a small amount, there is indeed some slop in the tailpiece, but it would not be considered anything that would prevent you from using the 1827 on your old installed unit. Okay, so getting that out of the way, it's compatible with the older deadbolt, which is very handy because the uh, issue with that is there are lots of these older deadbolts installed in lots of installations. Um, bureaus under the government, uh, departments of corrections use these locks and all the way to uh, a retail store has one. Um, all the way to um, sold some of the locks recently to a client who had a bunch of um, coolers of, of refrigerators and a food processing plant. Um, but you'll, in, in almost, in certainly all of those instances, it's either incredibly difficult to take the new 350 series lock, which puts its cylinder in a different location, naturally, um, and convert the old prep to accept the new lock. And in the case of the branches of the government uh, or the Department of Corrections, they have doors made of steel plate steel, 3 16 thick, a quarter inch thick, they cannot change those function holes at all on those doors. I mean, it's technically, of course, possible with, you know, welding, cutting, you know, grinding, things of that nature, redrilling, but it's not practical. That's not the solution that they're looking for. Um, so let's take some dimensional properties of this unit. This is the 1827. We ordered this in a 626 finish. Let's take some basic dimensional properties. The thickness of the tailpiece is 0 0 0.086, 0 0.086 thick. The height of the tailpiece, 0 0.245, 0 0.245. The length of the tailpiece from the shoulder that it sits on, obviously intended for a typical inch and three quarter thick door, that is 0 0.947, 0 0.947. Uh, overall height of the, th the thumb turn itself, 1.656, 1.656. Overall height of the mounting plate, or the mounting discussion, 1.224, 1.224. Now, the dimension from the center, the center of the tailpiece to the center of the mounting screw, I'm going to give you my best 
guess as to what that is. I'd say that it's about point, I'd say that it's basically a half of an inch. Using my caliper to eyeball that as best as possible, we are looking at a half of an inch from that hole to the center of the tailpiece. Okay. Obviously going to be available in all of the different finishes that Yale will make their 350 series locks available in. And of course that machine screw, which I'm, I'm going to guess is six, it might be 832. It's 832 or 632. Okay. Finally, uh, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Yale products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Yale, this is their part number 1827 in a 626 finish or any other Yale product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.